Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're so close to Christmas, I can't even cope. In this video, I am creating some multi-layered winter scene, winter wonderland, epoxy resin baubles. And we're not just stopping there, we are painting. We are painting our very own snow scenes. Now, if you saw my video a while back, you would have seen I did my first snow windows. Oh, I wanted to try and recreate it. So I'm just grabbing what I need from my shadow foam wall. Still loving it. Details are below. And I'm going to be using Vista Turbo Resin by Vista. This is their Fast Cure. This is just for the base layer. So I just need a solid base layer onto which that onto which that, onto which I can paint my winter scenes. Now, honestly, I have told you all, I am not a natural drawer or a natural painter. I can't pick up a paintbrush and paint an oil painting. I just can't. But these snow windows, these spray snow windows that you would have seen on my channel a few videos back, oh my goodness me. They are so Bob Ross. They really take it to the next level on how easy it can be to paint some scenery. Now, I cannot take credit for these. These are all down to Snow Windows. Snow Windows is a company. It is a man named Tom. Now, listen, if you have not checked out Snow Windows, I need you to run, don't walk over to their Instagram and over to their TikTok because Tom and his wife, honestly, I was watching them on TikTok Live. Someone flew them out to Madrid just for the day so that he could actually snow spray a cafe window. How incredible is that? Anyway, back to the video. <laughs> I am using my blue and black Vista pigments to create my own blue. I wanted a dark blue, but not a navy, nothing near close to that darkness. So I knew I had to create my own using the Vista liquid pigments. I added the blue and then I just added the black until I was happy. Um, this is gonna set and then this is gonna be my canvas on which I can paint my scenes. But yes, I watched a few of Tom's um, tutorials over on his TikTok um, and I then created my very own snow spray window based off of what he teaches. So please check out my snow spray. Guys, why am I finding this so hard? Snow spray windows video. And also check out Tom at Snow Windows. He's also been literally all over the television. This He's been all over the TV this, this time around. I don't know if he's usually on telly, but he's been on ITV, Channel 4. Like, yeah, check him out. And his bio will tell you everything. He is next level incredible at the snow spray. Now, I was tempted to try snow spray in resin and I'm going to. I'm going to do that by the end of this year. Like I have a week. <laughs> I have two weeks to try it. Um, but I'm just putting it out there that I will be trying snow spray in resin. I just kind of ran out of time. I only have two videos left after this one, which takes us right into Christmas Eve. Guys, Christmas Eve. I can't even. It's just unbelievable how fast this has gone. Now, what I'm doing here, I've painted my base. This is cheap white acrylic paint. That is just normal craft acrylic paint that I am using here. I'm using my clay silicon tool. This is the same clay silicon tool that I use to create my snow windows in my kitchen. And I am following the technique that I have seen Tom at Spray, win spray Windows, <laughs> Snow Windows, create. We are just going to create some randomly shaped triangles. We're not going to worry about the neat edges. We're not using rulers. We're not using tape. Create some randomly random tall triangles. Use your silicon tool and you are going like a, you're going to shove it in and push it up method. That's the method. Shove it in, push it up. Shove it in, push it up. Do you know what I mean? That is going to create these unbelievable branches where the branches are coming off the tree and the snow is covering them and mm, they're so pretty. Anyway, I was so happy because I am trying this with acrylic paint. Now here's the thing, acrylic paint dries so fast, so fast. So you do have to work fast. I'm not talking like, you know, poly resin fast. It doesn't dry in 30 seconds, but it does dry relatively quickly. So while I'm doing this, you really do have to think about, you know, 
getting your base trees on and then going straight in with your silicon tool to create all of those branches of those trees because this paint does dry super super fast and I was nervous about that but as soon as I kind of saw it working and I felt like these do look like the trees that I did on my kitchen window I was happy as soon as I realized it's working I was happy I could just relax and yeah relax the other thing to mention as well is that it would help to have some decent paint brushes like I just don't I've got like a pack of random multi-pack of paint brushes that didn't cost much money and they're all quite fat and fluffy and if you've got any fine real thin tipped paintbrushes that would definitely work more in our favor if we're creating the cottage and all of the little miniature details whereas for me I just have what I have so my brushes tend to be fully clumped up with paint and that's not ideal but I'm loving this so much look at this this is where I went in to create those shadows this is the bit that I missed out on my actual snow spray video. So this is what I was talking about when I was talking about shadows. And then I decided to create a star at the top of the trees. I, c I couldn't do it like you would on a snow window, but I did my best with the silicon tool that I had on hand. And I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it, I'm happy with it. And yeah, that is my very first snow window in a bauble and I'm loving it. Now I forgot to press record when I filmed the cottage but I am making another cottage any second now so I will show you from scratch how we create that cottage on the resin. Let me know in the comment section if you have painted on resin. It is really fun. This is not my first time using acrylic paint in resin. I've done it several times, but it really is fun. Let me know if you've created any scenes, if you've painted directly onto resin like I am doing here. But yeah, it's such a fun thing to do. And like I said, the acrylic doesn't take that long to dry. So you're doing a top coat within an hour and that's the beauty of this. Okay, here's the cottage. We're making a tent. <laughs> I'm going back to my snow spray video. Make a tent. We're making a tent shape for the roof and that is your snowy roof. This was the hardest part. Like how do I, how do I get a really thin layer of paint, but make it look blended, but have it so that it's not too close to the roof? So yeah, it was a bit tricky for my brain to kind of work out. And how do I do the windows? Because, you know, how do I do them? <laughs> I, I actually used a cocktail stick. Like I said, this paint dries really fast. And it was at this point I thought, actually, we could create some details in the snow once it's dried, we could scrape, like scrape the snow out. So again, don't worry too much if your paint is drying faster than you're working because with the cocktail stick, you can actually uh, scrape the paint back out of your work, which is amazing. This was fun to do. So that is the cottage done. And the next thing was to add a door and I'm just using my silicon tool. So same as the windows, we're pulling the paint in towards the door and not out. So you're pulling everything in towards to create those straight lines. Again, another randomly, don't care, it's not neat, triangle for the tree. Shove it in, shove the silicon tool in and up, in and up, in and up. You see that motion? That's going to give you your snow covered branches. I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. It's ridiculous. So there you just saw me trying to create a shadow, but the, the actual paint had dried already. So I did have to use my cocktail stick to create the shadow. At this point, all of those snowy grounds where I've actually painted the acrylic white paint on first, all of those grounds are now dried paint. So I knew at this point, I'm going to have to carve out with a cocktail stick whatever I do now. So this was just going to be a big tree in the middle and I'm going to show you easier, kind of like a slow-mo of the action you need your silicon tool to take in order to create these absolutely stunning, whimsical winter wonderland branches on your tree. Now there were a couple of trees that did not go my way. I was not happy with the end result and a simple wet wipe, a baby wipe, wet wipe or a wet cloth, just one wipe over your bauble and they came straight off because again, this is like resin. Well, it's not like resin, it is resin. So when you're painting on top of it, the surface is almost, it's like glass. You can just wipe straight off. It's waterproof is what I'm, I'm trying to say. But I did decide to 
create some trees either side and make a similar forest to the one that I made on my central window. So using all of the techniques that you saw me use in my snow spray windows, I'm gonna put some music on. Whoa, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh oh La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh oh La da 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 Making our Christmas memories which I was meant to put on my epoxy resin stags and my trees, but honestly, I played around. I just picked up the stag. I was trying it in front of all of the baubles. This was a whole point of this video. I was gonna do a multi-layered winter wonderland scene, but when it came down to it, I couldn't do it. I actually didn't think that either of the pieces worked. And whilst they're pretty, and if I put them on, I could still have fallen in love with it. I just felt like they needed to be left alone. They needed to be left alone. The stags were way too massive, like proportionally wrong. And now we just have snow window baubles and those stags and trees will go into my bag of goodies for next year. So we are now top coating. Now I am currently working on another project using Vista Cascade, which is not a fast cure resin. It's their overnight 24 hour cure resin. And I have some left. So I'm gonna use this to top coat the baubles. And I've added in a teeny tiny, and I mean teeny tiny amount of that super sparkle white. 
What's happened with the baubles, and it's fine, um, the Super Sparkle White has sunk to the bottom. So we're not getting that starry night sky that I was fully wanting in the first place. All of the Super Sparkle White has indeed sunk to the bottom. So the backs of these are really, really pretty. <laughs> the backs of these look like a starry night sky now yes the mold is currently upside down because my table here I didn't realize how uneven my table is until I'm trying to do flat things like this honestly I'm terrible it's never going to be level so it's all good and I had to turn the mold around because I felt like the resin was all going in one direction so I just quickly turned my mold around just to double check it and yes my table is very very not level but we're here it's fine, I get the job done and that's all that matters. Now, this is a 24 hours later, time to demold. There's a couple of things I'm noticing. There's a couple of bubbles in a couple of them. So this one here has a couple of surface bubbles. Now I did go in with my heat tool to try and dislodge any surface bubbles, but I guess I just had to keep coming back up every five minutes because this resin has got a nice generous work time. I could have maybe come up a few more times just to make sure there's no heat there. And I didn't, I only, I only hit it with the heat twice and sadly we have a couple of bubbles, but nothing that's going to ruin the piece. If you can hear George barking, it's because the postman is outside. He is downstairs with Tim, but the postman is outside and nobody's allowed to walk past our house. So I am sorry if you hear him barking in the background. This microphone picks up everything. But yes, anyway, back to the video. I'm loving them. I'm also loving the fact that the resin is slightly transparent, slightly, it's not opaque, which is what I'm loving because I can imagine this on a Christmas tree with lights behind it and you'd be able to see that silhouette of the trees. And yeah, super, super happy. They are exactly how my snow windows turned out. If you have not yet seen my very first snow scene with snow spray on my kitchen windows following those tutorials by snow windows go check it out because they look like these baubles like I couldn't believe how these turned out I had it in my mind I was like would this work with acrylic paint I don't know let's try it I have to say this one here is my absolute favorite it is just there's something about it it looks like an oil painting to me. The way I use the cocktail stick to scratch out the fence posts as well. Oh my gosh, the possibilities with that. And I'm thinking, you know, I like I said, I'm not really a drawer or an artist. A lot of this is really very Bob Rossi. It's very Bob Rossi. So you're just putting your paint on splodges and then using tools to bring it back into shape. Um, I don't think you need a fine art degree to be able to do this. However, <laughs> I cannot draw. I cannot. I know a lot of you say, oh, Claire, you can. I can draw a house, a tree. I'm not a fine artist. I'm definitely not a graphic artist, a graphite artist in any sense of the word. But I feel like the cocktail stick is <laughs> so bad to say it out loud. But the cocktail stick details in that paint, I think they look pretty cool. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, if you were actually quite clever at drawing, you could actually etch. It's etching, isn't it? You're etching away at the paint. You could easily etch an amazing image in acrylic paint on resin. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? I'm too close to Christmas, I'm getting giddy. I might also have had a few too many quality streets today. Not wine, quality streets, but um, yeah. I absolutely love these. I am so happy with the way they turned out. We do have two scorch marks. You might have noticed that as well. I don't know if I just heated it up too much. I used a lighter at one point um, and I think I scorched the resin, but it's all good. They're going on my tree. So obviously if you're doing this to sell, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't be like me. Other than that, I absolutely love them. I'm head over heels. We have a pure winter wonderland snow spray scene in resin, but with acrylic paint. I hope you have enjoyed this. And yeah, I hope you have been inspired. I appreciate you all so, so much. And I would really love you if you could hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. I'm so close to 80,000. I can taste it. I can taste it. I appreciate you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand And watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love 
And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Ooh. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Let's till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love 